What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 3 video. Uh, this one in particular we're gonna be going over to Vault 101 because we ended up getting a strange broadcast coming in th through our pit boy and come to find out it was from Amada saying that she needed our help essentially. So we're gonna be going over to Vault 101 and finding out exactly what she needs help with and and see if we can actually help her. So if you are excited for this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get going. Um, I forgot I had fox and dog meat. Let's go ahead and fast travel there. I think that'll pr probably be the fastest way there. Uh, Vault 101. Bingo. Alright, where are we? Come on, let's go. I hope our companions are allowed in here. Guess there's only one way to find out. Uh, activate vault door control panel. Or pod. That's loud. Well, uh, that was extremely loud. <clears throat> Look, it's a dead, uh, vault dweller. Jim Wilkins. I don't think I remember him. <clears throat> is that a rad roach? It is. Let's go ahead and take this little guy out. Bingo! Who's this dead guy right here? Steve Armstrong. He's a stealth boy. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Um. All right. Oh Stop shit! Right there. I don't know how you got in here, but hold on. Wait a minute. It's you. I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. I guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. <laughs> um, I need to talk to Amada. I got her message. Amada's message? I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. Uh, well, that's a risk I'm, ah, fuck no. Uh, what sort of trouble do you mean? Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of crap. If you'll pardon my language. <laughs> Uh Oh look, there's a thing that says if he was still alive since he's dead, of course. Uh well, yeah, dad would be horrified to know all that if he were still alive. I'm I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why stay down here forever? Well, the Overseer didn't like that one bit and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. Uh... So what now? I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer. But frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. Um, let me see here. <clears throat> Well, I'll go see what I can do about all of this. 
Well, okay. Just be careful down here. The vault's changed, I tell you. Will do. And thanks for the heads up. Hold on, which way do I go? What's over here? Come on, fox and dog meat. Open door. Let's change ca let's change camera views because that camera view is a little oh god. Die you heathen! Roachy Roach went nighty night. Alright, so there's nothing in here. I came in from out there. Tunnel snakes rule! <laughs> Love it. Alright, let's see what's over here. Keep out. Maybe we should just clear out this place. Kill all the rad roaches. Like this little guy right here. Let's go with the body shot. Oh, you roach. What makes you think you can beat me up or destroy me? Fox, get out of my way, bro. Alright, I suppose I'll go around you. Since you're giving me no other choice. Alright, let's come over here. See if we can talk to somebody. Who is this guy? That's it, old man. We're opening that door. And to hell with the overseer's rules. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below. Freddy. Or I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule. <laughs> Stay back. Uh oh. Nah, chill out, bro. Holy crap, you're crazy. Don't he you know shot at him. Stay away? You almost shot Freddy. I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. Tell me about them anyways. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're going to try something dangerous. What happened? I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting. Her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. Aw. Uh, well, later. <laughs> yes, you do. Say something else, old man. Freddy Mac literally almost got destroyed. Alright, that goes to the upper level. This goes to the... Oh, fuck. I didn't want to do that. Wait, who are you? You don't belong here. Man. Chief Hannon. Oh, look. The bad seed is back. Yep. Uh, what happened down here? After what happened to Vicky and my boy that night, your corpse should be strung up as a warning to anyone else who thinks about heading outside. I mean, you could try it, but it ain't gonna turn out very well for you, bro. Uh, tell me about the rebels. More kids looking to get us all killed. Now it's up to security to keep them in line. Sounds very, uh, dictatorish of you. Alright, let's see here. Where do we go? I don't know. I'm literally guessing at this point. Okay, got a bunch of bedrooms. None of which are important to me. Get out of my way, buddy. Nothing. Uh, gentlemen and ladies. Now I ain't trying to go to the pooper. Who's this? But how do I get there? This way, I think. Um, Leave me alone. You're back again? Yep. Uh, what happened? It's all kind of blurry for me. But I hear I owe you for saving me. But don't expect much. The whole thing was your dad's fault in the first place. Why is everyone being mean to me? Tell me about the rebels. They're a bunch of hellions, that's what they are. I'm at my wit's end about them. I really am. One of them is your son. Yes, you do. Is she disowning her son too? You don't belong here anymore. 
Uh, first of all, Gomez, we already had a nice conversation. I don't know why you're being rude out of nowhere. Cut it out. Hi, Pepper. Can't you just leave us alone? Why is everyone so rude? The bugs were horrible, but my family was pretty lucky. But then my Freddy went and got caught up with those idiot rebels. Yeah, he almost got shot. Uh, well, tell me about them. Those kids are risking our entire vault just because they're bored. It's horrible. All right, later. Yes, you do. Damn, why is... Dude, they're all rude. All right, we need to find... Uh, we need to find... Uh, Amada. Like, ASAP. No, that's Deloria. Who's that? Kendall. Have we been that way? I don't think we've been this way. Or maybe we did. I'm not sure. Yeah, we have. Alright, let's go through here again. Um, Alright, we came from that direction. Let's try going this way. Oh, look. It's the overseer. He's literally looking at us. Let's try this way. Maybe we can find people. Oh, I remember this place. Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough damage. Wally Mac. Oh boy, are you in trouble? So what happened? You should have seen my pop. He personally saved old Stanley. But guess you wouldn't know what it's like to have a hero for a dad, would you? Um. Such a dick. All right. Uh, tell me about the rebels. What do you expect from idiots like them? I'm just glad I was done with Butch's stupid gang before they got involved in all this. What? Yes, you do. Alrighty then. Who's this guy? Why is he looking down? Alrighty then. Um, where should we go? Let's check this way. This place is kind of confusing. Wait a minute. Wait, we just did a gigantic circle, didn't we? <clears throat> Which that means we need to go this way. Belong here. Anyway. Let me see I what he sure says. I didn't expect you to show your face here again. We were so busy fighting those bugs, there wasn't anyone to help put out the fires that started after you left. It was horrible. I expect as much from some of those idiot kids and batty old Palmer, but I expected more sense from Broch. Alrighty, later. Everyone literally says the same thing. Yes, you do. Uh, atrium or reactor? Let's try to check the reactor. Where the hell is Amada? Vault 101 sub-level? Sure, why not? Um, I don't think we're supposed to be down here. Nah, I don't think we're supposed to be down here. Let's go back. <clears throat> we gotta find Amada, man. She's somewhere around here. Right? Because that's that's the that's the mission, right? Uh right there. Uh end vault 101's troubles. Well. Doesn't say anything about Amada, but You don't belong she, here. Man. She's the person uh we got the the message from so upper level so it's gotta be it's gotta be her that's gonna give me the uh, place I'm supposed to go to but this oh this was uh, what's his name's place the scientist honestly I think this is my house Maybe? I don't know. He goes the overseer's room. Operations, apparently. I don't know what this means, but... Or what they do. Alright. Come on, Amada. Where are you at? Lower levels. Open door. Is 
Is there anybody even in there? The order of the present moment. Who's this? Can I can I pick this? Uh Oh, I could hack this. All right, let's try this again. I'm kind of curious to find out why he's in there. Watch it be like a serial killer. I've literally never done this mission, so I'm very curious to find out what's about to happen. Uh, confidential. Uh, raids on rebel rebels in light of increased agitation from the rebel elements. I have come to the conclusion that we can no longer afford to be merciful. Wow, to this scum. While some may hold out uh, hope for a peaceful resolution, it's only a matter of time before they decide to take the fight to us, or worse yet, our families. I propose a midnight raid to their compound. Live ammo, zero tolerance, make an example of the first two who fight back. <coughs> and the rest will fall in line. We may lose a kid or two, but we'll save the vault as a whole. And that's what counts. You are not to inform the overseer and some of our softer security guards uh, about this plan, as they will only object and uh, ensure our defeat. Once the deal's done, they'll see it was worth the price. This, are, this will show the scum uh, what happens when you step out of line in our vault. Wow. Wow. Who are you? Oh, it's, it's Mr. Rush. See you again. It's been a while, kid. I guess the goat couldn't have predicted how you'd turn out, could it? Nope. Remind me to add a question about rescuing your teacher from the vault jail. If the vault ever goes back <clears throat> to normal, that is. By the way, while I was in there, I heard some worrying things from the guards. Like? Well, actually, I just read it. Uh, what did you hear from the guards? I heard one of the guards talking about some sort of plan to raid Amada and the rest of us. I didn't hear anything else. I think he read it on the security terminal. So maybe you can find more there. I'm sure it's bad news for us all. Yeah, I already read it. Tell me about the rebels. Most of them are just kids who are caught up in the idea of seeing the world. But I know we've got to actually open the vault if we want to survive. Otherwise, we're just going to dwindle away down here until it's all too late. What happened down here anyways? It was pretty rough, I'll tell you. I know a lot of folks blame your dad. I know he didn't mean to cause all that. Don't blame him or yourself. I don't. Later. Watch yourself down here. Don't worry. I'm pretty well fortified here. And I got a dog. Uh, and a super mutant that's going to definitely help me out here. Where am I supposed to go? Systems room? You never should have left, kid. Now oh, we'll God. make sure nobody ever leaves again. Why... Why are they shooting at me? I kind of feel bad. I just shot Wally Mac's dad. All right. I gotta find Amada, man. Why won't you just leave us alone? You've done enough damage. Luckily, they're not all attacking me. <clears throat> it was just them two. But that was kind of random. I don't know why they attacked me. I think it might have been because I let uh, Mr. Brotch go. Alright, so there's that guy. We haven't checked Cut it out. this side yet. Oh, this is inaccessible. And we haven't checked over here yet. And that's inaccessible. What the hell, dude? Where the hell is Amada? Um, all right, let's... Let's see if we can find the overseer. Chip Taylor. I don't know who Chip Taylor is. Hmm. I swear, this entire freaking episode is going to be literally me just trying to find Amada. <laughs> Um, I feel bad for this kid, dude. I just killed his dad. Why won't you just leave us alone? 
Shut up, up kid. Shut up. No. <clears throat> Come on, Amada, where are you at? Or even the freaking overseer, somebody. Who's that? Chief Hannon. Um, hmm. Can I come in here? No, it's inaccessible. Get out of my way, dog meat. <clears throat> Watch it, will you? Who, who the hell's talking? Reactor room, atrium. Let's try the atrium. Who, oh, it's Butch. Damn. Look who's come waltzing back into the vault. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. Uh, help? What kind of help? What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? Yep. Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. Uh, don't worry. I'm trying to help the entire vault. Man, screw the entire vault. What about me? Even these rebels just want the option to go outside for lousy trading and stuff. I just want to get the hell out of here for good. Why stay here and be stuck as a barber for my entire life when I could go out there and make my own choices? Uh... Uh, what do you think you're gonna do outside, Butch? I'll start a gang, of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right, maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? Hey, I'm already in the Tunnel Snakes. You gave me the jacket and everything. Yeah, but I'm thinking it'll be a new gang. We ain't gonna just be in tunnels, you know. Besides, there's gonna be a lot more people who want to join. Competition's gonna be tough. Mm. What happened that night? I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Uh, nothing too bad, yet. But he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Of course, if that happened, Guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? Uh, he's talking about setting up a disaster. Yep. Catch you uh, later. Maybe. Figured. Alright, let me see. So, this looks like... Who's this right here? Oh, it's Freddy Gomez. Freddy Gomez. I called him Freddy Mac, I didn't never... I? Hey, good to see you again. Uh, I can't believe they almost shot you. I tell you, those guards are getting nastier every day. One of these days... Is gonna turn real ugly, but I'll be ready for it. Well, tell me about the rebels. The overseer thinks he's in charge of us just because it's his job. Well, nuts to that. We do what we want, and we want to open the vault. What happened down here? Paul got bit real bad by some of those rad roaches, but he thought he could tough it out. If we'd had a doctor to treat him, he might still be here. Oh no, he died. Later. That's insane, dude. Paul Hannon, I think was his name. Hey, Mata! Oh my god, you're back! You got my message and actually came back. Oh uh, yeah, I came as soon as I heard you were in trouble. What happened? Oh, thank you. Everything's gone crazy since you left. And now that you're back, you can help set things straight. Uh, you saved my life back then, Amada. The least I could do is help you out now. I just wish we could have saved more people. Jonas and, and the Hannons and so many others died that night. It was bad enough they died because my father was trying to keep the door closed. But then I found out it was all to protect a lie. I found out the vault wasn't always closed. They've lied to us about it for our entire lives. What? How did you find that out? After that night... I heard Wally's father say we should never have taken you or your dad into the vault. I found out the vault used to be open, but for some reason, they closed it off when we were babies and swore to hide that it had ever happened. But keeping that lie meant Jonas's death. And even though we know the truth, 
the overseer still won't let us make our own decisions. Wow, that explains why they killed Jonas. Um, <clears throat> sounds like he's gone crazy with power and needs to be stopped. You're absolutely right. It's not like we want to abandon the bolt or anything. Well, Butch does, but he's too big a coward to go out on his own. <laughs> Most of us had accepted that the outside was certain death, and things would always stay the same down here. But now we know they don't have to be. After all, it was enough to get you and your dad to leave, so there must be something good out there. Uh, why is the Overseer doing this? I just don't know. Maybe he thinks he's protecting us, but all he's really doing is condemning us. I thought parents were supposed to want a better world for their children. Well, there's a new world waiting right outside that door. And we're not going to give up until we can reach it. I think I have a solution for the vault's troubles. I certainly hope so. <clears throat> we can't keep going on like this. Um... <sighs> Alright, I'll swear I'll stop your father and his guards. Just watch. You will? Thank goodness for that. No matter what I say, he just doesn't listen. He just spends all day up in his office. But you've actually been outside, so you can tell him what it's like with first-hand experience. Just, please don't do anything rash or hurt him, alright? Nah, you're right. I'm not gonna do anything. And I do have somewhat of a silver tongue. Uh... You know violence isn't my style, Lamont. That's a lie. Don't worry. I should have remembered. I was just worried. I don't know. Maybe your time outside had changed you. Thanks. And good luck talking to him. Let me know when you change his mind. If I can change his mind. Is this the... Uh, Mr. Brock? Yes, it is. Alright. Where is the overseer anyways? You've got to oh, old Lady Palmer. Palmer. It's good to see you're back from outside. It can be dangerous out there for someone your age. Uh, tell me about the rebels. Oh dear, we aren't asking for anything special. The vault's been open before, but for some reason everyone tries to pretend it wasn't. I guess they try to forget the poor souls who never came back from out there. Uh, what happened down here? My poor grandson Jonas died is what happened. They say it was just an accident and all the confusion, but I know it was the overseer. I never knew that that was his grand that that was her grandson. See you later, Lady Palmer. Careful. Let's go find the overseer. Can I? I never thought you'd be back. We've already talked, dude. All right, where can I find the overseer? <laughs> All right, hold on. There's a door in here. I wonder if I can actually go in there. It's good to see you again. Uh, How Andy? Serve you, master? Oh no, Beatrice! She was the one that gave us the, the little, you know, note. Oh, That one, that one hurt. She cared about us so much. Man, I sure wish we could blow this joint. Crap, we got a problem though. Oh, okay, never mind. I was about to say, how am I supposed to get out with Fox standing in the way? But I figured it out. Who's this coming? You don't belong here anymore. All right, I need to find the overseer now. <clears throat> Maybe in the upper levels. I swear, it's a lot of running around trying to find people in this mission, isn't it? Um. Oh, I found him. Huh. Nice. Well, I see you've returned. Done with the dust and ruins of the wasteland, are you? Given up looking for daddy? Thought you could just slink back in like a teen missing curfew? Well, that's too bad. You have no future in this vault. You're tainted. Um. <clears throat> uh, lay off the evil banter. I'm just curious about... Uh, your side of, uh, your side of all this. Really? And here I had expected you to be full of bullets and bravado, but short on brains. Perhaps you've grown up since you left our vault. I regret the unfortunate events of that night, 
but I'm afraid that once your father left us, they were unavoidable. The sad truth is that his actions presented a real and direct threat to the future success of our vault, and so, regrettably, they had to be opposed. Uh... What do you mean by the vault's future success? Ah, you're paying attention. Good for you. These vaults were designed to be safe havens for humanity, you see. But more than that, they were designed to test and protect us. And none more so than our Vault 101. We are to be a pure and protected breed of humans, never tainted by the ravages of the war above. Mm. The Vault doesn't have to be isolated in order to keep its residents safe. And what makes you so certain about that? I can't imagine you're still so naive after spending time in that hell outside. None of them know what the outside is like, and most of them would die out there. Then the rest of us inside would eventually die out too. I won't risk all of our lives just for a few people's passing fancy of taking a wasteland vacation. I hope you can understand that. Um... Why are they rebelling? I just don't know. Don't they realize how dangerous it is out there? But instead, they would throw away the safety of the vault's isolation just to follow in your footsteps. I can't allow them to do that to themselves or to the rest of us. I believe I have the solution to the vault's problems. To fix what you started? Go ahead and humor me. I kill you. I'm just kidding. Um, let me see. Mm, the rebels are right. You need to open the vault. Oh, do you? What makes you think you know how better to protect this vault? <clears throat> uh, you simply don't have enough people to stay isolated down here forever. I admit, in the 200 years since the war, our numbers have dwindled a little. But we have enough genetic diversity for a few more generations. My god, you're right. We won't last another hundred years whether or not we get supplies from the outside. We're the last bastion of pure humanity, and we're doomed. Uh... Humanity isn't about pure genetics. It's about never giving up hope, even now. <laughs> I wish I could share your optimism. But I suppose you have a point in your blathering way. My way won't save our vault's mission. But if I let them contact the outside world, I might be able to save its inhabitants. But I'm not the one to lead them in that. I'm stepping down as overseer. I'll tell Amata that I can think of no more appropriate leader than she. Yay! Why won't you just leave us alone? We've done enough damage. No, wait, come back. Is he going to talk to Amata? Amata, everyone, listen closely. As oh, snap. Discussion with your friend, I've made an important decision. I don't know who he's talking In to. In my attempts to keep us all safe, I have been, perhaps, overzealous. Lives have been lost, but perhaps worse than that, lives have been stopped. And in my attempts to keep you safe, I have kept you from growing up. I know I have made these mistakes, and I would make them again if I had to do so. That is why I cannot remain your overseer. Father! Amata, I appoint you overseer in my place. You've proven you have what it takes to make hard choices for the good of the vaults. I'm just sorry I didn't understand that earlier. Consider it one of many mistakes I've made. Thank you, Father. I'll do my best to keep us all safe, inside the vault and beyond. You're welcome, my dear. And now, if you'll excuse me, 
I feel quite worn down. We'll deal with the details soon, in private. Until then, I'm sure there are people waiting to congratulate you. I oh. never thought you'd be back. Yay, Amara, talk to me. I, I just heard. My father says he's stepping down as overseer. He won't tell me why, but I have to assume it's something you said to him. He said your friend talked to me. Or talk, yeah, oh, never mind. Uh, I just had a little talk with him and explained a few things. All quite civil, as a matter of fact. You and him? Civil? I expected you to change out in the wasteland, but not that much. But I guess we'll all be learning a bit about the outside now, won't we? As a new overseer, I'm planning on opening the vault. This time, for good. It's good. a bright new day for the vault, but I'm afraid there's one thing that has to change. Uh... Whatever it is, I'm glad to help. I know you are. And on behalf of the vault, I thank you for all you've done. But there are still many who blame you for everything that happened. So, I have to ask you to leave. What? What? I'm sorry, but the situation is just too delicate for you to stay. Please, if you really want to help the vault, you have to go. What an asshole! <laughs> That's fucked up! I saved the vault, and now you're kicking me out? No, it's not like that. Uh, yes if, it if is. If you stay, it'll just keep causing more problems. The vault can't take any more infighting. It's just what has to be. It'll be a while before we're ready to really go outside. But once the vault is stable again, maybe we'll see you out there. So, I guess this is goodbye for now. It's not much, but take this with you to remember us by. With luck, we'll meet again. That's fucked up. Hello. Leave Vault 101 forever? <laughs> it's good to see you again. That's fucked. That is so wrong, dude. Good to see you. Looks like we're secure. Wait, who's this? Sorry to see you go. Susie Mac? Bye. We'll miss you. Where is Butch? Keep listening. And see who else we can get to take I never thought you'd be careful up there. Who's Christine Kendall? Myself safe if you do the same. All right, I need to find Butch. Where's Butch? Did he already take off? Uh, door. Nah, there's nothing back here. Oh, there he is. Butch, I have good news for you. It's a shame you gotta go, but you'll do okay out there, I'm sure. It's a shame you gotta go, but you'll Man, do okay out there, I'm sure. That's fucked up, dude. Like, what the hell? I can't believe I'm getting kicked out, man. After all I did for the for for Amada, man, Amada was like my favorite character in this game, for like the longest time. No, that's uh, that's not it. <clears throat> Let me see. I don't even know how to get out of here. Um, apartments maybe. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? I think this is the way. Legit, I'm just guessing. Storage, yeah, this is the way right here. There we go. Let's go. You don't belong guys. here anymore. Oh, shut up, old man. Get out of my way, dog meat. I can't believe I'm getting kicked out, dude. That's so wrong. It's I'm, it's gonna be bothering me. After all I did, dude, I stopped all the battles. And now I have to bear the burden of being kicked out forever. Look at that. They're, they're even closing the vault on me. No. Man, that door is loud. Oh, I feel like it was just yesterday that we saw this view for the very first time. But unfortunately, we're going to have to call it a video right here, right now, guys. There is one more mission that I do kind of want to do. And that is over there um, in a place called Underworld. Uh, I have to meet this one girl who is kind of sort of knocked out. Some of you guys might know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, some of you guys won't. The ones that don't know what I'm talking about, you guys are going to have to wait till the next video to find out what it is. 
But for now, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.